nice. Slice. Hey guys, this is George Jet, and we have K Mac. Hey K Mac, what are we doing today? We are looking for the best slice of pizza in Miami Dade County. Oh yeah, so this is the South of Miami edition. We're gonna do a Broward one, and we're gonna go. Where are we going today? Today we will be going to Magic City Pizza first. Magic City. Then we'll be going to Cazola's after that, and we're gonna wrap it up at Steve's in North Miami. Yeah. So we're going to determine what makes the best slice. So K Mac, how do you determine what is the best slice? Okay, since I started looking for the perfect slice of pizza, I always had several things I looked at. It had to be A, the perfect mix of red and yellow, so the perfect mix of tomato sauce with cheese. It had to have a little bit of oregano on it. The smell had to be perfect. And what's crazy is I love the sound inside the pizzeria. It had to have the perfect sound of the metal stove hitting when you walk in. So I'm looking for that. Gotcha. Okay. All right. And I'm basically looking for almost all the same thing that she said, except for the sound. I don't care about the sound. <laughs> I, do. <laughs> I don't care about the sound, but I like to walk in the pizzeria and it have that nice pizza smell. Yep. You know, you walk in and you smell the, the, the bread, you smell the, the sauces and all that stuff. So that's what I'm looking for. But the perfect slice for me would be uh, a thin crust, uh, equal amount of cheese with sauce. It has to have sauce on it. Uh, and one of the things that I look for is it has air pockets. Those, yeah. big, those big bubbles or blister looking things that are full there. If it's got that in there, that's a fail. And I also look for the oregano on top. Every pizza should have a little bit of oregano on top. Agreed. So that's what we're doing. Getting a little bit of rain. And we are on the way to Magic City Pizza. So we just finished at Magic City. What do you think? Very surprised. I didn't hear the stove when I walked in, but the pizza more than made up for it. The, I took a lot of pictures of it. I'm sure we'll be posting it on the video. Uh, the color was perfect. The taste was great. A little bit of oregano, and I actually uh, waited for it to cool down, threw in a piece of cheese in my mouth. Perfect taste, uh, perfect mixture of the tomato sauce and the cheese. And the crust was really good. And the crust was good. The crust was really good. And I'm gonna say ditto because I felt exactly the same way she did. Uh, I didn't see the, I didn't hear the oven thing closing, but that was about it. I think it was good. It was, it was way better than I thought it would be. How about the oregano? You said you. Oh, uh, the only thing I didn't notice is they didn't have. They had a little bit of oregano right in the center, and I'm gonna. Put a picture of it right there so right in the center there's oregano but it wasn't spread around it so like you know you can spread it evenly around it that's the only thing and there was a couple of air bubbles on the edges but but what do you think about the crust though uh really yeah the crust. <laughs> you, you, you like yeah i like the crust. You, you like the crust mm -hmm. the, the crust was good yes so she liked the crust i thought it was okay next stop cazola's we're gonna go down Miracle Mile now and we notice check out what's over there see that little bottle right there somebody was drinking <laughs> <laughs> at the somebody, corner somebody was drinking at the corner so we continue our trip our journey and you can, you can park in the front, fine. If not, there's parking in the back. <laughs> there's always parking. There's always parking. No parking in the back. <laughs> no parking in the back. Yeah, there's parking. We're gonna have to park in the back. <laughs> We're gonna park in the back. Okay, park in the back. Park in the. Back. <laughs> I'm so I'm so nine years old. <laughs> park in the back. There's a slice, there you go. 
Pozzolas. And they give you samples in there. Look at that. Look at that slice. Look at that thing. I'm gonna have, I'm holding the pizza, and this is what's happening. It's just completely flopping down. Uh, this is, this is not an X-rated thing. But let's see, let's see if I can eat this. I mean, look at it. Cazolas. Uh, did not bring their A game today. <laughs> was uh, not happy with Cazola's. Way too much cheese. The grease was falling off the cheese. The dough broke apart in my hand. It was that gummy. Um, yeah, uh, uh, not much good to say. And all I have to say is, I've eaten the Cazola's plenty of times. This was the worst pizza I have ever seen. I mean, it was soggy, it was falling apart, it had way too much cheese, the sauce was runny, the presentation was horrible, I mean, it had sauce all over the crust. It was not Cazola's the way it is. You've guys seen it, it's got, you know, a really cool atmosphere, you can sit inside, they have benches, all the pizzas that I showed you in the beginning, it's really cool. It's open late night, you, know, you get out of the um, the clubs at 5 o'clock in the morning, you come here and eat, and this is, again, this is the first time I've seen their pizzas like this. Next stop. <laughs> all over the, the table. The table. <laughs> and thickness test and the bottom of the pizza. I'm not eating it. Got the oregano on it too. our last round at Steve's Pizza. It was better than Cazola's. I will give it that. It was better than Cazola's. The, we don't know whether if it was sitting for too long before it got reheated or not, but the piece was not foldable. It was flopping over. Um, one thing I will give it, definitely a great sauce, much sweeter than the one at Magic City. Um, however, I preferred the Magic City's crust over Steve's. Um, if I were to rank them, I would have to rank them Magic City number one, Steve's Pizza number two, Cazola's wasn't even in the ballpark. Steve's Pizza, letdown, total letdown. Steve's is one of my favorite pizzas here in South Florida, but the dough was way too thin. I don't know why it was too thin, and uh, it, it just broke. I mean, I lifted it up and, and it broke. Um, sauce is sweet which is really good that's why I, I love the sauce um, the crust from Magic City was dead on I mean you can lift it up it won't break um, only if they would have 
cooked it a little more and give that little brown thing on the bottom, I probably would have rated it number one. Um, and the sauce, if their sauce was a little sweeter, I would do that. But Magic City was uh, scored really high. Uh, never eaten there. First time, would I go again? Absolutely. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna give Magic City a number one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them a number one. It was pretty good. Magic City was pretty good. Um, but you know, but the, the sauce, the sauce of Steve. I don't know. I love that sauce. I love that sauce. Cazola's total trash, complete trash, total letdown. It's it, it was wet. It was soggy. It was. You almost choked Too on much the cheese. cheese. I almost choked on the cheese. I mean, it was nasty. They were even a That's all I gotta park. say. Nasty. That concludes the reviews. We are exiting Cazola's. Backwards. I think I did. Anyway. <laughs> That's what anyway. I said. <laughs> so. That's what